What's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle, repping the Giant Lifestyle merch. Now, inside today's video, I'm going to be doing a number list style video. If you guys ever seen the content creator, How To Beast, I highly suggest going and checking out his channel. He posts a lot of videos like five ways to improve your fashion, five ways to make more money, five ways to get better with girls, five ways to gain muscle quicker. And inside today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five habits that all alpha males have or five habits that successful people have. Now, when it comes to success, when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to business, there's not just five habits that require for success or equal success. There are actually hundreds and hundreds of habits. There are millions of components. There are a lot of moving pieces. But since I've been fixing my routine, since we're going into the last quarter, since I've been waking up very early recently consistently, I've been really thinking and analyzing what it really takes to become successful. So I'm going to run through this list. I got five things that break down the habits of a successful entrepreneur, a successful male, or an alpha male that is. So basically, the reason I'm making this video, in all honesty, is because people who watch these videos can help me grow a community of like-minded people. Anybody that comes across this video has the wokeness or is somewhat red pill enough to realize that they have to improve and life owes them nothing. So let's just get right into the video with the number one thing. So the number one thing as far as a successful habit that all successful people have is they maximize their day. The day becomes longer by waking up early. Now, most of my life I used to hate waking up earlier and I really waking up early and I got the bad taste out of my mouth from school and you know me driving all day pretty much because I'm in real estate I'm always driving from city to city house to house with my contractor looking at properties today I seen like probably five million and one school buses and school just gave me the worst awful taste for so many things it gave me a bad taste in my mouth for reading and it gave me a bad taste in my mouth for getting up earlier because when you go to school, you get up early, you're in school by seven, you go to school until 2.30, 3 o'clock, and it basically it, it um, basically molds you to be ready for a nine to five job because no nine to five job starts at nine and ends at five. Nine to five jobs really go from like six to six. They're pretty much all day events. And when you actually start waking up earlier and working on your own things, it's a really amazing feeling because I woke up today at I think 5:45 or 6 o'clock. I think the best thing you can do if you don't, if you can't wake up at 5 a.m. because that is highly takes massive amounts of discipline, is just wake up before 7 a.m. The best thing you can do to really maximize your day is be up out of bed and already showered by 7 a.m. and you will feel really good. By the time it's 2, 3 o'clock, you've already been up for eight hours. And keep in mind, you're ahead of the eight ball and ahead of millions of other people because a lot of people don't get their day started until 11 or 12 o'clock. So when you start waking up before 7 a.m., you're going to realize how much of the day you're maximizing, how long every single day is, and how great you feel, man. It just feels like that the only real thing we have on this earth, yes, money is the goal, yes, financial freedom is the mission, but the only thing, uh, only asset we really have is time. So maximize it as much as possible. Obviously, sleep is important. Obviously, other things are important, but try and live every day to the fullest. The second thing is is do something outside of your comfort zone every single day. Every single day, you should be pushing yourself, challenging yourself getting yourself out of your comfort zone, and that's the only way you grow. You need to be feeling some sort of pain every single day so you can grow to the ne next level. The reason that most people stay stuck is because they never push themselves. They never challenge themselves. When the obstacle gets in the road, they either look at the obstacle and say, how can I get around this? How much money will this make me? What is the benefit of this obstacle? Or they put their tail between their legs and they run away. You can't run away. You have to take the challenge head on. You have to go head on and you have to make it happen. You have to get uncomfortable. But getting uncomfortable or getting comfortable being uncomfortable is what will really make you strong, will make you fearless, and in the end lead you towards success. If you stay comfortable every day, you won't do the things you need to do. Not every day do I like doing the things I have to do, but every day I do the things I need to do to get where I need to go and to have the lifestyle in the future that I desire to have. 
Number three is working out and having healthy lifestyle. When I say working out, the best thing I think you can do is find out what your goal is. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to gain muscle? Are you trying to get lean? Are you trying to bulk up? What is your plan? What is your goal? My plan currently is pretty much just to bulk up and to gain more muscle. And what I have right now is a four-day workout split. In the near future, two to four weeks, I'm going to be hiring a personal trainer that I met at my local gym who actually owns the gym, which is really exciting because it's a huge franchise gym. And not only does he have common interests of working out, but he has also has common interests of entrepreneurship and business. And I really have been starting to notice because I've been hanging around people who are good with social skills, I've also been able to improve my social skills. So even though it's not one of the habits in this video, another important thing you can do is really make sure that your circle is check ties and you're hanging around people who improve you, better you, expect the best from you, and you can really grow. If, you are, if you're the smartest person in the room, if you can't level up from the people you hang out with, then you're simply wasting your time and you need to improve your circle. I seen a quote one time and I was gonna make a video about this the other day, is don't fuck with people who fuck with people you don't fuck with. So just let that register in your head and then let me know what you guys think because that can really shave down your friend circle or your associate circle, but it can shave it down to only winners. So as far as working out, I recommend you find out what your goal is and then work out. I like to work out in the morning. Sometimes I like to work out at night, take some pre-workout before my workout and just crush it. It gives you so much energy for the day that it's absolutely unbelievable. But I'm actually going to head to bed soon so I can wake up around 5.36 and get to the gym early in the morning. The benefit of going to the gym in the morning if you are serious about working out is the gym is completely empty. So it's a great environment to get your workout on and get in the zone. And as far as staying healthy, it's really important to stay healthy in all aspects of your life. Relationships, mental health, physical health, emotional health. And that's one of the things as far as success and entrepreneurship and business is it's a lot of mental brain work. You really have to train your mind to run through the obstacles, like I said before, and just be mentally strong because a lot of people have the idea that business is gonna go one way and when the mental challenges come up and the mental roadblocks come up, they get punched in the mouth. You have to not only build up your physical strength, but also your mental strength as well. And it's really important to have strong and healthy relationships in all areas of your life. Every part of your life should be healthy. Diet, mental, relationships, everything should be at the peak of the level that it could be at. The fourth thing is control your income, give back, take care of your family, and make an impact. Basically, you need to control your income. You need to own your own business. You need to be able to create the lifestyle you want. So I was talking with my contractor today while we're looking at a project that we're working on, and I basically came up with the analogy that working a job is like painting a house with a one-inch roller, and every single day the house gets bigger. Basically meaning the bills keep coming and the job never pays enough. Plus, it takes up all your time. You never have time to think for yourself and you really can't even create a great lifestyle out of it. So you need to build a business. As far as what I do currently, I'll basically let you inside on my business model and my current streams of income. I make money with my YouTube channel slightly. I also make money with flipping medical commodities and I make money flipping real estate. Now, as far as the most profitable and easiest business to set up, I say that it is flipping medical commodities. It's a great and easy flipping business model that only works inside the USA, but I've made well over 150K with it and I've used that money to buy the fix and flip real estate deal that I'm working on right now. So if you guys have not seen that video, go to my channel and watch the playlist, Bought My First House at the Age of 23, which is a fix and flip real estate project that I'm currently working on and getting ready to put on the market where I will flip it and make over a hundred or maybe a little under a hundred thousand dollars profit. So it's really important to build your business. You need to get free from the job. I don't understand people who clinch so hard to a job when in the end they work the job and they're still broke anyway. You might as well quit the job and build a business. Get into real estate, start wholesaling real estate, get into flipping medical commodities, take that money, invest in leverage, credit, other things to level you up, man. You need to control your income because if you have to rely on somebody when something serious happens and you need big money to impact your family, to take care of your family, somebody sick in your family to pay your family's bills or whatever it takes or even give back and make this world a better place, you need success, you need riches. Nobody can make a great impact in this world. Nobody can give back to the charity of their liking 
with $10 on their bank account. All the people who are making massive impact in this world are people who have big bank accounts. And the final thing is no excuses and just get it done. There's a lot of times that, you know, and this kind of results back to, you know, getting uncomfortable, but it really just comes down to, you know, making it happen every single day and just going as hard as you can because the best thing about going as hard as you can every single day is when you're getting ready to go to sleep at night, did you feel like you did everything in possibility to make that day a success? Because if you go to bed at night, you know in the end, did you do everything that you could to make the day as best as it possibly could? So go hard, have a checklist, be organized, be in the zone, have a mission, have a why, know what you're out here to do, know your mission, know your purpose, and just be dog on a bone, getting things done, no excuses, and slowly you'll be able to get the snowball effect where you're pushing the rock up the hill and eventually the rock or the snowball will come rolling down the hill. But that only happens by seven days a week, working every day, no days off, and just pounding the pavement, making no excuses, and getting it done. Because when you get it done, all the pain goes out the window. Don't worry about how it feels right now. Think about the result. Think about the payoff. What does working on your dreams, working on your goal, working on your business, working on your body, working on your relationships, working on every aspect of success today do for you tomorrow. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys show me and let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Also, make sure you guys put a like on this video. And if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.